My name is Susan Catalano and I'm the Chief Science Officer of Cognition Therapeutics. Cognition Therapeutics is a drug discovery and development company that's focused on finding drugs that are going to stop Alzheimer's disease. What we think happens in Alzheimer's is the uh, particular protein called beta amyloid builds up in the brain with age. And when it builds up in the brain, it actually self-associates to form a new shape that was never there before. And this shape is known as an oligomer, uh, which comes from the Greek root for the word many. So it's many little individual proteins stuck together in a unique new shape. And one of the properties of this new shape is that it can actually bind to receptor proteins on the surface of brain cells that are very key for the process of memory formation. When this bad protein, this toxic shape of beta amyloid interacts with those receptors, it interferes with the processes of normal memory formation. And you see this memory failure that's one of the first signs of Alzheimer's disease. Here in the lab, uh, we actually recreated Alzheimer's in the dish. We took brain cells and plated them into little petri dishes and allowed them to grow up in the dish. And when that happens, they connect to each other and they start to electrically communicate with each other and they form a little model of the mature brain. So what we discovered was that this toxic beta amyloid oligomer actually binds to a very specific receptor that was never implicated in Alzheimer's disease beforehand. And when it binds to this receptor, the receptor interacts with other proteins in an abnormal way and it causes memory failure. The drugs that we discovered actually prevent and competitively displace this oligomer uh, either before it interacts with this receptor or even once it interacts with the receptor. And this stops Alzheimer's disease in its tracks. It allows the brain to actually be shielded from these toxic proteins and in so doing actually allows the brain to recover from the memory loss. At this point, uh, the drugs that we've discovered should be ready to enter the clinic in the next 12 to 18 months. So we're hopeful that by the end of next year, in 2014, we can actually be in the clinic. My background, um, I've got a PhD in neuroscience and spent many years in basic research uh, looking at the mechanisms of how memories form and uh, was very intrigued by that. But ultimately, I think I was drawn to drug discovery because I really wanted the discoveries that we made to actually impact people's lives. And I wanted to actually be part of the industry that discovers the medicines that really have such a profound effect on patients and on disease. As I focused on the problem specifically of Alzheimer's disease, which is certainly near and dear to my heart, uh, it really occurred to me that there was a better way to actually go forward and that idea of how to discover the drugs in a faster and better way actually is what started Cognition Therapeutics as a company. Currently 5.4 million people are suffering from Alzheimer's disease and we expect that number to really increase uh, quite dramatically in the coming years but those numbers really don't capture the real devastation to individual families that are coping with this disease. Just at the time of life when people can really make such wonderful contributions to their families, they're actually being taken out of the picture. At a time when our nation can really use uh, some wisdom, we're really losing uh, an entire generation of wise elders to this disease. It does not have to happen. It's a region and a city that really supports risk taking. There's a very low cost of doing business here in the region uh, in terms of rent and the price of housing. That the economic development agencies within the region have been extremely supportive of risk taking. Uh, we were started with seed capital from Innovation Works and the Pittsburgh Life Sciences Greenhouse. Really great tradition of neuroscience here in Pittsburgh, in the city of Pittsburgh. The local universities uh, have uh, a very high concentration of neurobiology faculty, so it's possible to get uh, folks and staff the company, staff a neurobiology company with a level of expertise and talent that you really can't get in too many other places in the world. On another level, uh, you know, Pittsburgh is just an absolutely fantastic place to live.